Hello and welcome to video number 10 of our PHP web developing tutorials. In this video we're going to cover form handling and I'm going to show you how to create a form, how to retrieve variables that you passed it from the form, and the differences in the types of variables that you can use. PHP contains three different ways of handling form requests. that They're a post, get, and request. And I'm going to go over each one of those. We're going to start out with post. And in HTML tutorials we didn't really cover how to create a form because we don't have a, in HTML you don't really have a good way of processing that form but I want to show you how to create one now and how to process it with PHP so we're going to create a form that's a form tag give it a method of post we'll start out with post and an action in this action we're just going to leave it blank because we're just going to process the form here on this page in that means notice that it will it will ask if you want to go ahead and close the form you hit enter there and it'll close the form for you which is a good little code completion part of uh, NetBeans. Well, so in this form we're going to have a number one and it's going to be an input type of text and it's going to have an ID ID of number one and it's going to have a name of number one. And we're going to close it and give it a, a line break there. I'm going to have number two input type equals text ID equals number two and name equals number two and we're going to close it give us a break and we're going to have a input field of type submit this is going to be a, a submit button and we don't have to give it an ID or a name we're just going to give it a value and the value is going to be add and this is going to be an add button and we'll, let's go ahead and show you what that looks like we refresh this. Now we have a, a form that's got a number one, a number two, and we have an add button. What basically what this is going to do is we're going to take input from the user, a number one and a number two, and we're just going to add them and then show the result down below. So next, let's go to showing the result. Below the form, let's create some PHP. And in that PHP, we need to check to see if the post variable number one is set. And to do this, we use an if statement. We say if is set, and our post variable in post variables in PHP come from uh, the post the global underscore post variable so when this form is processed when we click this add button it sends this input value with the name of number one to the post variable and this post variable here is actually an array of all those values so number one is our index it's an associative array and number one will give us the value that someone put into this input field Okay. So if that is set, and we'll say and not and, well and and post number one is not equal to nothing, then we're going to take number one. We're going to create a variable called number one, num one, and we're going to set it equal to that post number one. And we're going to have another one called num two, and it's going to be equal to the post number two and then we're gonna have a number three equal to post well not post anything we'll say number one plus number two and then we'll just echo number one plus number two equals number three we save that so so now we've got a page that has a number one we're gonna give it 50 and number two we're gonna say 30 we'll add that now it's giving us 50 plus 30 equals 80. So we've actually made a little calculator. 67.5 plus 45.6. Plus 67.5 plus 45.6 equals 113.1. So we have a little calculator. Now, that's post variables. Post variables are not shown in the URL. If you notice, the URL doesn't change. These these values that are coming through from the from the form are simply being processed by the by the PHP and it's and it doesn't have to be shown on the URL the get values are different so we're gonna set this to get now we can refresh this page 
let's go actually let's just hit enter here to clear out our post and get variables 45 and 50 now when we try to add those up nothing shows up down here but on our URL we see number one equals 45 and number two equals 50 let's just change I'll show you that one more time 90 and 34 notice that our URL up here has those parameters so we're sending these variables as parameters of the URL that's how get works it, sh it get sends the values as parameters of the URL in order to process those we have to change these post variables these underscore post variables here to underscore get I'm going to use control H in NetBeans and for every underscore post we're going to change it to underscore get we're going to replace all now we're going to close this save this page come back over here and refresh this so now notice that we have 90 plus 34 equals 124 this is coming from our URL it's actually processing this we could change this first number to 100 and hit enter and the data is actually processed on the form we haven't done anything here we could actually put something in here so now that process of the form but it puts the values in the URL that's the important thing to remember about get is it puts the values into the URL normally you will not use get you won't you won't want to use you will not want to use get so I'm going to change this back to post here okay and we're going to use something called a request variable instead of this get we're going to use request and we're going to replace all here. Now request can handle both post and get request. So the request variable can handle both post and get methods. So if you put the values in the URL manually, it will still handle them with a request, even if this is a posted form. We save that. We refresh this. If we come up here and just hit enter on the page, it still processes that data. We could take this out, let's cut this out, and hit enter. So now the data's gone. We put the data back up there. Oops. Cancel that. Put the beta at the end of it. Now hit enter. And see it's 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 processing these this get these get parameters even though this form is a post. So request does both post and get post does not process URL parameters this if this was the post variable it requires that the, the information be sent post it won't work with get so if this is post you can't send it information from the URL if it's get then it has to be through the URL and a lot of times you don't want that information to be transferred over the URL. You may have some hidden input fields there that you don't want to show in the, in the URL. Most of the time I use post and then I check variables with the request unless I need those variables or I want to restrict those variables and, and don't want people to be able to, to add the parameters to the to the URL specifically. Post and probably most people would use post when they're processing the form, I use request a lot just to, so that I can pick up some uh, get requests and stuff like that as well. But the important part here is post is underscore post in PHP and then it's an associative array pointing to the name of the inputs. Get processes or puts the variables on the URL itself. Request does both. And that's all we're going to cover in this video. These form requests are used a lot in PHP. You'll be using forms and you'll be processing forms a lot in PHP. Everything that you do pretty much interacting with the website is handled through forms and form requests and things of that nature. So this is important. In the next video we're going to cover date functions. We're going to show you how to display dates properly. It's going to be a short video. And then later on we're going to do go into more complicated things with PHP. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe.